Hi, I'm Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on creating folders in the Photos app. So you may know that you can create albums to hold photos, but did you know that you could create folders to hold albums? Well, today we're going to show you how. There are many applications for using folders to organize your albums. How about a folder for trips to hold albums of each of your trips? Or a grandparent who wants a folder to hold albums of each grandchild? Maybe you're a realtor or a salesperson and you want a folder to keep albums of each of your listings or your product lines. The possibilities are really endless. Well, in my case, I'm going to create a folder for pets that will hold an album for each of my pets, dogs, cats, and horses. So first we're going to create a folder, then we're going to create albums within that folder, and then we're going to move pictures into those albums. So to get started, I'm in the Photos app on an iPhone, very similar on an iPad. Things might be just a little bit more spread out because of the bigger screen. And we are in the Albums view. So in the bottom right of your screen, you want to be have the icon called Albums be blue. And we want to be out at the root level of the album, so you should see albums at the top, a plus sign here, magnifying and edit. And here is the plus sign. Now, if you just tap on the plus sign, you're going to get a dialog box come up and say new album, <clears throat> enter a name for this album. That's how you create a new album. But we're going to tap and hold on it, and it's going to come up down below saying new album or new folder. And that's what we're going to pick here. We're going to name our folder Pets and save it. And now you can see in my Albums view, I have a folder called Pets. I'm going to go into that folder, <clears throat> and we're going to add some albums inside here and get organizing. Now, we don't see a plus sign at this level. What we have to do is go into the Edit mode. So we're going to tap on Edit in the upper right, and now our plus sign appears. Tap and hold the plus sign, and it says New Album. <clears throat> I'm going to type in the first one, which is Dogs. Save. And it's going to come up and ask you to add pictures right now to the album. So I'm going to tap on the pictures that have uh, dogs in them. Oops, that's a cat. Now the dog's in here. So is the cat. So I'll probably put that in both the albums. And then Done. And it added the four pictures into the album called Dogs. Now another thing occurred here, it created another album called All Photos. And you're going to see when we're all done how you can look at everything inside all the albums at once as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one. I'm going to call it Cats. And pick the pictures that have cats in them. I'm going to go back up here to the top. Cat, cat cat. <clears throat> this picture has a cat in it. Now, you might think that, wait, I already put that in an album. Am I duplicating that picture now? And it, that is not the case. You can have the same photo in many, many different albums, and it's not going to duplicate the picture. It's really just a pointer to that picture in your photo library. So don't worry about that. Okay, I think I got all my cat pictures. <clears throat> Another album appears, and I'm going to do one more and call it Horses. And I'm going to pick the horse pictures and put them in there. And you can see we're still in the edit mode, so I'm going to say Done in the upper right. And now we're back out to the root. So we're in the Pets folder, and we have uh, four albums, really. We have all photos. Horses, cats, and dogs. And underneath each one, it'll show you how many pictures are in there. So if I go into the all photos, I'm going to see everything. If I back out and I go into, you know, dogs, I'm only going to see the dog pictures. So it's a really great way to organize. Now, one other thing you should be aware of is I'm going to go back into edit. And um, remember, we did the quick tap to get a new album to come up. But just like out at the um, album level, um, when we originally created this folder called Pets, you can tap and hold, and you can create a folder inside of a folder. And then you could create a folder inside of a folder. And I'm not sure how many levels you can go down, but you could get really organized um, using this folder method. Okay. Now, another thing you should know is if you have existing albums to move into this folder, 
Unfortunately, there's no way to do that on iOS right now. Um, if, if somebody comes up with a great way to do that, please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, but if you're using your iCloud photo library and syncing everything across all your devices, you can make those changes on your Mac and they'll reflect on your iPhone or iPad. So that's how you create a folder to hold albums or other folders in the Photos app on your iPhone or your iPad. It's a great feature to help you organize all your precious photos. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.